Good evening and welcome to Bristol Community College Student Awards Ceremony. My name is Nancy Santo Padre, instructor of criminal justice and a member of the College Awards Committee. It is truly an honor to welcome all of you here tonight. This evening, we are here to recognize students who have demonstrated exceptional academic growth and development, as well as those who have made significant contributions in service and leadership to Bristol Community College. At this time, I would like to introduce the college trustees in the audience, Cynthia Rose, <laughs> Diane Sylvia, Sandra Saunders, and student trustee Jazeel Chase. I would also like to ask the members of the President's and Vice President's Council to please stand up to be recognized. Let me introduce my distinguished colleagues and presenters for this evening's event. To my right, Dr. John J. Sprager, President of Bristol Community College. <laughs> Ms. Patricia Patsy. Jeffrey Zukowski, 1973 graduate of dental hygiene and chair of the Bristol Community College's Alumni Association. Ms. Susan McCourt. Associate Professor of Mathematics and Director of the Commonwealth Honors Program, Ms. Elizabeth McCarthy, Vice President of Resource Development, Dr. Anna Gayette, Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Greg Satharis, Vice President of Academic Affairs, Mr. Stephen Ozug, Vice President of Compliance, Campus Preparedness and Students. To my left, Ms. Kathleen Burns, Director of Student Life. Dr. Uli Ryder, Dean of Humanities and Education. My boss, Dr. Kathleen. Pearl, Dean of Behavioral and Social Sciences. The Chief, as I call him, Mr. William Barati, Dean of Business and Information Management. Miss Patricia Dent, Dean of Health Services, I mean Sciences, a pardon. Dr. Samad Saman. Dean of Mathematics, Science and Engineering. Ms. Sarah Morell, Dean of Access and Transition. Dr. Suzanne Buglioni, Dean of the Lash Division of Teaching and Learning. I would also like to introduce this evening's American Sign Language Interpreters, Cheryl Giberson and Melanie Schlang. At this time, I would like to acknowledge and thank the members of the BCC College Awards Committee for their tremendous work and support throughout the year and their assistance in making this event possible. Kathleen Burns, Committee Chair. Gloria Cabral. Jenna DiPortoli. James Iman. Katie Lefebvre. Diane Manson. Nancy Moxon. Vanak Penn. Derek Viveros, Patricia Weisberger. Many thanks to the faculty, staff, and students who submitted nominations, and to our student ambassadors for handing out the programs and checking in our guests. 
There are numerous faculty, administrators, and staff in the audience this evening. I would like to thank you for your dedication and support to Bristol Community College and our students. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the president of Bristol Community College, Dr. John J. Sprague. Thank you, and good evening, everyone. What a wonderful night. This is one of my favorite nights of the year when we award uh, and recognize student success and uh, the achievement, the accomplishments that you've had uh, during your career here. So we're very proud of you. I know that you would want to thank as well the faculty and staff and everyone at BCC who supported you as you move through your uh, various curriculums and, move, and the various activities that brought you to this night. Uh, we're very anxious to celebrate the awards. Uh, excellence is something that you have learned at BCC, and I hope you will continue on this path of excellence and accomplishment as you move forward beyond BCC. And what I always tell graduates is please remember that you always have a home here. You're part of our BCC family. We want you to always to feel welcome and to make use of the resources that we have here at the college that you may need, even though you're past BCC in other phases of your life. Okay, good deal. And I thank you very much. Congratulations. And now, Patricia Jeffrey Zukowski, the 1973 graduate of the Dental Hygiene Program and Chair of Bristol Community College Alumni Association, will, anon will announce the Alumna of the Year. Good evening, all. Thank you, Nancy. And welcome, graduates. I am thrilled to welcome and introduce such a very special lady. I would also like to say that Jen also is one of our billboard stars, Because Bristol. This year's recipient, Alumna of the Year, Jennifer Boulay. Thank you for that generous introduction. And thank you to the Alumni Association for nominating, and for um, Suzanne Buglioni, who's sitting right there, who, for nominating me. To the faculty and staff who inspire me, and especially to my family, who tolerated me throughout my journey. I am deeply honored and humbled to be considered for such a prestigious award, Alumna of the Year, on such a special evening, commemorating the 50th anniversary of this great institution. As my per first professor, H.M. Booth, said, if you feel nervous when you're speaking in public, it means you respect your audience. I really respect you tonight. <laughs> I would like to dedicate this award to the woman who instilled a strong work ethic in me, my mother. Until her passing last year, she rode the commuter rail to Boston from Fall River every day. Despite working for AIG, she attended Occupy Wall Street protest, photobombed Elizabeth Warren, protested the circus, um, participated in flash mobs for Obama, became a member of PETA, and dreamt of becoming a Buddhist and volunteering for an elephant sanctuary in her retirement. Yes, that's probably also where I acquired my heightened sense of irony. Like many of our students, my path to college was not a direct one from high school. When I finally mustered up the courage to matriculate as a student here, I had to let go of my former identity. With blind faith, I tested my resolve and attempted to model to my children how an education can become a source of liberation. Attending Bristol provided me with opportunities to take risks, to develop courage, juggle priorities, and to redefine my identity. How fortunate I am to work at my alma mater and to continue to be inspired by the students who possess the same blind faith I once did. One particular student that stands out to me is the woman who took my online class 
but she did not own a computer. She printed out each assignment each week at the local library, wrote out her responses by hand, and then typed them into the library's computer each week. She never missed a deadline. While her story may sound unique, she's certainly not an outlier. Many of our students face great obstacles, yet they embody great perseverance. Few careers are as soul satisfying or allow you to witness such personal transformations. I think I speak for many educators when I say that this is truly the best time of the year. Eight years ago, I sat in those seats somewhere over there, <laughs> waiting to receive the honors and leadership cords like many of you are tonight. However, these experiences were not on my original checklist upon entering this institution. It wasn't until faculty and staff found a spark in me that I had not yet seen, and then my plans were altered. As a result of their efforts, I was one of four students who was admitted to a program at Brown University that was specifically designed to recruit non-traditional students. And in higher ed, that means old students. <laughs> I was also the only woman in that year's cohort. One of the highlights of attending Brown was meeting a woman who graduated from the university the year I was born. She immigrated from the same island my father's family came from. She too was a first generation in her family to attend college. She had also transferred from BCC. After discovering our connections, this woman who arguably paved the way for me to attend Brown many years before, she marched with me in a processional through the, the ceremonial gates that were once erected, probably to keep folks like us out. I gave her my gold BCC pin that looks very much like this one <laughs> to wear at that march. As you can see, BCC accompanied me through my journey, and that was precisely three years ago from tonight. Education is a powerful tool. However, it does not come from taking the easy road. You must possess grit in order to overcome the obstacles that will be pl placed in your path and there will be obstacles. However, don't become so rigid that you fail to take detours when opportunities arise. As challenging as some roads may become, remember that you are not alone in your journey. Congratulations to all of the students here tonight on the su successes for which you are about to be recognized. Remember those who have inspired you and take heed to inspire others on the paths that lie ahead for them. When you see a spark of blind faith in others at coffee shops, hair salons, or even malls, such as Taunton, <laughs> share your story. You may find that such conversations help to embark others to embark on their journeys. While your path may not be straight, as mine certainly was not, it is an important one to tread and share. Thank you. And now Susan McCourt, Associate Professor of Mathematics and Director of the Commonwealth Honors Program. Dovi LaRue will assist Ms. McCourt with the honors cords. Good evening. The Bristol Community College Commonwealth Honors Program offers over 250 outstanding students the opportunity to participate in honors classes, interdisciplinary honors seminars, and honors component projects. These students elect to enroll in classes that require them to go well above and beyond the college level rigor and be challenged by even more, more reading and writing, more synthesis and analysis, more preparation and discussion, and significant research projects and presentations. These students share the same challenges as many at Bristol Community College, balancing their studies with jobs, caring for family members, and actively participating in their communities. I am humbled by them. On awards night, the Commonwealth Honors Program recognizes the students in the program who have chosen to participate in even more scholarly endeavors these students have completed at least three honors experiences and they have worked with a faculty member to successfully produce a significant interdisciplinary research project 
and present their findings in written and oral presentations, all done while maintaining a GPA of at least 3.45. Tonight, we award these students with honors cords and recognize them as Commonwealth Honors Scholars. The Commonwealth Honors Program Scholars are Roger Alex, <laughs> Emily R. Beliveau, Nicole M. Kyer. Anna L. Cueva Moreno. I got him backwards, thanks. Perla Serda. Madison E. Dubay Adams. John Connor Dvorsky. <laughs> Tiffany L. Hathaway. Deborah A. Hug. Michaela E. Lazur. Lala G. Lopez. Johanna Macbeth. <laughs> Wanda Maldonado. <laughs> Jennifer Martin. Jessica E. Matos. Michael S. Petrello. Neil Raposo. Michelle R. Ross. Barbara Shaddix. Colton J. Simmons. Anne Sylvia. Deborah J. Taylor. <laughs> Jessica R. Torji. <laughs> Edith C. Voss. and Kristen N. Zarelli. This year's John J. Spraga PhD Honors Book Award is awarded to an outstanding honor student who also did significant service to the honors program. It is Michelle R. Ross.
congratulations to all the award recipients. Elizabeth McCarthy, Vice President for Resource Development, will present the Bristol Community College Foundation Scholarships. Good evening. The Bristol Community College Foundation is pleased to present the All USA Academic Team Scholarship. It is co sponsored by Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society and the American Association of Community Colleges. Nominees are chosen for their outstanding academic achievement as well as significant college and community service. The recipients this year are Madison E. Duby Adams. The second recipient is Tyler Souza. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Animation and Mo in Motion Graphics is awarded to Timothy R. Chia. Yeah. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Fine Arts is awarded to Mark B. Allen. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Foundation, we have two recipients. The first is Joshua Ferreira. The second recipient is Andre Vazelay. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Graphic Design is awarded to Jonathan Willett. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Web Design is awarded to Jonathan R. Travis. <laughs> oh, sorry. Joseph R. Travis. The Bristol Community College Foundation Quest Scholarship is awarded to Samia Abdel Jalil. The Beavis Castano Scholarship, we have two recipients. The first one is Michael Barboza. The second recipient is Brad DeMora. The Helen Marie Booth Theater Award is presented to Zachary Bro. The second recipient is Jordan David. The recipient of the Kenneth M. Candeas Memorial Scholarship is Maria Fernandez. Mariah. Mariah. The CIS Information Systems Transfer Award is presented to Jeffrey Mercier. The CIS Computer Forensic Award is presented to Joshua Taylor. The CIS Computer Science Award is presented to Robert Cintron. The CIS Programming Award, we have two recipients. The first one is Justin Aruda. The second recipient is Thomas Shepley. 
The CRC Book Award for Excellence in Chemistry is presented in recognition of outstanding scholastic achievement in chemistry during freshman year. We have two recipients. The first one is Robert Jacob. The second recipient is Kenneth Nato. The Captain James D. Crossan Scholarship is awarded to Brendan McKenna. The Charles E. Croshaw Jr. Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Brianna Pinall. The recipients of the Jeanette Denning Writing Awards, first place is Matthew Seaman. Second place is Anna R. Flynn. And third place is Betty J. Fonseca. The recipients of the Johanna DuPont Occupational Therapy Assistance Scholarships, we have two. The first one is Lynette Solar. The second recipient is Courtney M. Todman. The recipient of the Dr. Cynthia K. Carr Scholarship is Sarah Rivet. The recipient of the Raymond J. LaVirtue Senior Scholarship is Michelle R. Dias. <laughs> the recipient of the Ron Lister Professor Emeritus Design Award is Colton J. Simmons. The recipient of the Ron Lister Professor Emeritus Fine Art Award is Lisa Pearson. The recipient of the Katia Lun International Student Award is Weibo Zhang. The Basil and Teresa Maravellis Memorial Scholarship recipient is LaVolta DePina. The Charles Markovich Memorial Scholarship, we have two recipients. The first is Amy Blanchett. The second recipient is Christopher M. Brault. The Barry McKee Scholarship is awarded to Andre Pereira. The Jesse E. Richardson Art Award is given to an art program student who has excelled in painting. The recipient is Michael A. Pacheco. The recipient of the Jennifer E. Serper Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Susan F. Ducharme. We have three awards for John Stobart. Fine Art Awards, first place is Brian Fornia. Second place, Blake A. Ferrara. And third place is Mark B. Allen. The Edward Terrell Smith Scholarship Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Michaela E. Lessier. 
student math league competition, um, fall semester round one, first place. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Here comes Michaela. <laughs> Student Math League competition, fall semester, round one. First place is Ali A. Termos. Second place is Mark Eckerson. Third place is Kevin Bodwin. Fourth place is Corey Tupin. And fifth place is Samuel K. Lima. Spring semester round two, first place, Corey Tupin. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Second place, Nicholas B. Rogers. Third place, Samuel K. Lima. Fourth place, John C. Dvorsky. And fifth place is Vin Burbach. The Professor Marion Wilner Art Book Award is presented to an outstanding art transfer student who has demonstrated creativity and excellence in drawing and design, and the recipient is Katrina E. Benner. Congratulations to all of the recipients. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Anna Gayat, Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs, who will now present the awards for exemplary student writing. The award for exemplary student writing in the disciplines showcases the writing of a student from one of the college's divisions. Students' work was nominated by a faculty member and judged by a committee from the respective divisions. This year's recipients are Jack Cordero for his piece, How I Learned to Believe in Myself from Division One. Branquinho for her piece, Acknowledgement and Acceptance of the Transgender Community, Division Two. <laughs> Leanne Gary Fallis for the piece, Relationship Between Body Shame and Self-Efficacy, Division Two. <laughs> Jolie streeter Duchovsky for the piece demonstrating the importance of arts education and role models through volunteering with the Girl Scouts, Division Two. <laughs> Danielle Wusteni for the piece Consumer Health Informatics, Division Four. <laughs> Kendra Neto, for the piece Unknown Lab Report Number One, Division Five. <laughs> and Darren Thibault for the piece Charity, Division Six. <laughs> Congratulations to all the award recipients. I would like to call Joy Rose from the Massachusetts Health Information Management Association to present the next award.
Hi, my name is Joy Rose, and I am here from the Massachusetts Health Information Management Association to, prevent the student, to present the Student Achievement Award, which recognizes a health information management student for their outstanding academic achievements, demonstrated leadership, and high ethical and moral values. The recipient, the recipient this year is Deborah Hugg. I would now like to introduce uh, Uli Ryder, Dean of Humanities and Education, to present the first curriculum awards of the evening for Division I. Good evening. The curriculum award is given to graduating students who are recognized for the characteristics of reliability, perseverance, and high academic quality. This award expresses the college's confidence in the recipient as he or she enters the world of business, community service, or higher education. The curriculum award recipients for the Division of Humanities and Education are, for art transfer, animation, and growth, uh, motion graphics, Timothy R. Chia. Art transfer, graphic design transfer. There are two recipients, Kaylee Korea. And Colton J. Simmons. Art Transfer, Web Design and Media Arts, Kyle Dom. <laughs> Communication, Michaela E. Lessier. <laughs> Deaf Studies, Speech to Text, there are two recipients. Brianne Beckman and Sarah Gonchar. Deaf Studies Interpret Option, Kaylee G. Texiera. Early Childhood Education, Elena Acosta. Early Childhood Education, Early Childhood Education Licensure, Dominique Chasey. Congratulations to all the recipients. I forgot my next part. I now would like to uh, present Dr. Kathleen Pearl, Dean of Behavioral and Social Sciences, who will present the Curriculum Award for Division II. I'm happy to announce that the Curriculum uh, Award in the Division II Behavioral and Social Sciences is in the, the field of human services and it is awarded to Holly Bombard. Congratulations to this recipient. And I'd like to announce, uh, introduce uh, Dean Bill Berardi, who will be making the Curriculum Award announcements for Division Three. The Curriculum Awards for Division Three: Business and Information Management. The recipients are Business Administration Career Accounting Option, Jessica M. Ferreira.
Covadonga Grande Malaska. Jillian M. Marcel. Susan Schmidt. Business Administration Career Option, two uh, individuals, Scott A. Brissett. Something's wrong. Start here. Okay. What did they get? I know. Uh, okay. Okay, computer information systems, computer forensics option, Joshua J. Taylor. Computer information systems, computer information transfer, Jeffrey R. Mercier. Computer Information Systems, Computer Programming Option, Justin Aruda. <laughs> computer Information Systems, Computer Science Transfer, Robert Cintron. Culinary Arts, Baking and Pastry Option, Tiffany L. Hathaway. And Justina M. Matton. General Studies, Wanda Maldonado. <laughs> Lindsay N. Chervone. Jessica R. Torgi. <laughs> General Studies Mass Transfer, Jessica Martin. <laughs> Saki Nyankwai. Neil Raposo. <laughs> Office Administration Executive Administrative Assistant, Kendra Medeiros. Jordan E. Powers. Tracy M. Silva. Congratulations to all the recipients. I would like to now introduce Patricia Dent, Dean of Health, Sci Health Sciences, who will present the Curriculum Awards for Division IV. The Curriculum Awards for the Division of Health Sciences are 
Clinical Laboratory Science, Ashley Correa. <laughs> Complementary Healthcare, Johanna Macbeth. Health Information Management, Deborah A. Hug. <laughs> Medical Assisting Certificate, Christine L. Reynolds. Congratulations to all of the recipients. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Samad Saman, Dean of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering, who will present the Curriculum Awards for Division Five. Good evening. The Curriculum Awards for the Division of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering are Engineering Technology, Civil Technology, Treya J. Hoban. <laughs> Engineering Technology, Electromechanical Option, Mustafa Balanur. <laughs> Engineering Technology, Electrotechnical with Solar Energy, Christina M. Sosa. <laughs> Engineering Technology, Marine Technology, Catherine N. Trimbley. <laughs> Engineering Transfer, Engineering Science Transfer, John C. Davroski. <laughs> Liberal Arts, Biotechnology and Biomedical Technology, Paul Azevedo. <laughs> Congratulations to all the recipients. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dean Saru Malal, Dean of the Division of Access and Transition. Division six, the Division of Access and Transition, is comprised of a number of college preparatory programs and programs of academic support for students enrolled at Bristol Community College. The new College Readiness Award has been developed to recognize college-bound students who exemplify outstanding academic achievement and persistence, as well as long-standing commitment to community service within our college prep programs hosted by BCC. Many students were highly deserving. The two recipients of the College Readiness Award this year are Jasmine Pereira, And Jasmine will be moving on from Bristol Community College and Durfee High School to Harvard University. And Emma Rogers. And Emma will be moving on from Durfee High School and Bristol Community College to the Rhode Island College School of Nursing. Congratulations to the recipients. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Greg Satharis, Vice President of Academic Affairs, who will present the Academic Achievement Awards. The Academic Achievement Awards are granted to those students 
graduating with an associate's degree who have earned a 4.0 grade point average as of May 1st, 2016. The recipients are Gloria M. Alfiris, Justin Almeida. Emily R. Bellavo. Patrick A. Buzzle. Alex J. Donnelly. John C. Dvorsky. <laughs> Valerie Francis. Karen E. Goddard. Hugo Hook. Julie L. Kurkowski. Michelle D. Leroux. Kristen A. Mascaratolo. Francesca T. Passini. Shana L. Pinkos. Neil Raposo. Mark F. Resendiz. Tyler Souza. Chelsea L. St. Pierre. Deborah J. Taylor. <laughs> Jessica Texera. <laughs> and Harry Walsh. Congratulations to all of the students on this extraordinary accomplishment. <laughs> students graduating summa cum laude are invited to apply for the honor of giving the valedictory address. From the finalists, two students are selected to represent their classmates based on their academic excellence and college and community achievements. They are designated as the valedictorian and the salutatorian of the class and lead the student processional at commencement. I am pleased to announce that this year's salutatorian is Colton J. Simmons. The valedictorian who will address his classmates at the commencement exercises on June 4th, 2016 is John C. Dvorsky. <laughs> Dr. Suzanne Buglioni, Dean of the Lash Division of Teaching and Learning, will now present the Civic Engagement Awards. Ms. Erin Smith will assist Dr. Buglioni with the leader chords. Students who identify an unmet need in the community and design and lead a community service project aimed at addressing that need earn the distinction 
of community service leaders. The recipients are Lauren Aruda, Amy Blanchett, Christopher Briault, Jaziel Chase. Sarah Demora, <laughs> Sakira McPherson, <laughs> Milagro Sanchez Gaton, Jessica Matos. <laughs> Dylan Shea. <laughs> Sakira McPherson. <laughs> Edith Voss. Kaylee Williams. <laughs> Outstanding community leaders. On behalf of President Barack Obama, Bristol Community College is proud to recognize members of the college community who have successfully completed a minimum of 100 hours of community service with the President's National Volunteer Service Award. The first recipient of the President's Volunteer Service Award is Dahlia Albana Joseph. The next recipient is Catherine Chase. The next recipient is Nicholas Josefa Costa. The next recipient is Rochelle Cody. The next recipient is Pauline Janelle. The next recipient is Samuel Lima. The next recipient is Johanna Macbeth. The next recipient is Milagro Sanchez Gaton. And lastly, Catherine Tremblay. The
The next groups are also recipients of the President's Volunteer Service Award in the silver category. First, we have Amanda Aguiar. Nicholas Belmore. Christopher Brialt. Sarah Damara. Johanna Morales. Saki Nianqua. Cynthia Patricio. Evie Robinson. Daniel Rodericks. And Edith Voss. The next silver award goes to the Law Club. I'll ask the members of the Law Club to come forward together, please. Here we have Raquel Almeida, Zachary Karen, Mary Day, Sharifa Derby, Stefan Fanas, Kathleen Mello, Tyler Mello, Casey Novo, Amy Pine, and Jessica Singarella. Please, let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you for your service, Law Club. We have one other club that is receiving the Silver Award as well tonight, and I'll ask the members of the STEM Club to come forward. Kevin Bedoin, Jandalyn Bentley, Jeremy Bryan, John Dvorsky, Robert Hegarty, Christian Kimball, Christina Lamb, Samuel Lima, Dynasty Leslie, Matthew Raposa, Angus Riley, Nicholas Rogers, Casey Senna, Catherine Trembley, Edson Vieira, and Jason Webster. Let's give the STEM Club a big round of applause. Thank you for your service. Now we go on to the gold award winners again for the President Obama National Volunteer Service Award. The first gold award winner is Amy Blanchett. The next gold award winner is Jaziel Chase.
Next for a gold award is Linda Carrera. Next gold award goes to Ryan Kirby. The next gold award goes to Michaela Lesur. And last gold award goes to Jessica Mello. We have one gold award that will go to a club, and that is the Dental Hygiene Club. I'd like to ask the members of the Dental Hygiene Club to come forward. <laughs> Jessica Blanchard, <laughs> Catherine Bouchard, Abigail Duncan, Daniel Gothier, Kristen Harrison, Kendra Instasi, Linda Lees, Elizabeth Little, Jennifer Mattis, Marina Men, Karina Oliveira, we have many that are not here, sorry, Samantha Pixley, Roselle Quigley, Erin Reddy, Sean Roca, who just moved past us, uh, Kylie Selva, Leah Schuler, Paige Silver, Alicia Vincent, and Tasha Young. Let's give the dental hygiene a big round of applause. What a club. Students who have successfully completed a minimum of 100 hours of community service are also recognized with the BCC Volunteer Service Award. We have one winner of the Volunteer Service Award this year, and that is Fatima Javed. <laughs> Lastly, and most prestigiously, there is a Volunteer Servant Award for the Newman Civic Fellows. This national award honors inspiring college student leaders who have demonstrated an investment in finding solutions for challenging facing communities throughout the country. Through service, research, and advocacy, the Newman Civic Fellows make the most of their college experiences to better understand themselves, the root causes of social issues, and effective mechanisms for creating lasting change. I am very pleased tonight to announce the winner of the Newman Civic Fellows Award, Amy Blanchett. I'm so thrilled for, to be able to announce to you so many people making a big difference in our communities. At this point, I'd like to introduce Kathleen Burns, Director of Student Life, who will now present the Bronze Shields Awards. The Bronze Shield Award is given to students who have provided continuous, outstanding service to a student club or organization of the college. The recipients are from the Biotech Life Sciences Club, Des Savoy. From the Black Student Union, Monique Onoha. From the Cape Verdean Club, Paulina Fissant.
from the Clinical Lab Science Club, Larina Marazzoni. Yeah. From the Dental Hygiene Club, Sean Rocha. From the Dream Club, Brooke Doobie. From the Hero Club, Caroline Macedo. From the International Club, Weibo Zhang. There are two recipients from the Law Club. Sharifa Derby and Jay-Z Goff. There are three recipients from the Occupational Therapy Club, the sophomore class. The first one is Donna Ruda. Congratulations. The second is Nicole Gagliotti. And last is Karen Gainham. There are three recipients from the STEM club. The first is Samuel K. Lima. Congratulations. The second is Dynasty Leslie. And the last recipient is Matthew Raposa. And for the first time this year, we included student ambassadors, and the recipient of this award is Daniel Borden. Congratulations to all of the Bronze Shield Award recipients. <clears throat> Stephen Ozug, Stephen Ozug, Vice President of Preparedness, Compliance, and Students, will present the Silver Shield and the Scepter and Scroll Awards. As we get to the last few awards here tonight, uh, you notice already some students are wearing out a path, and that's going to continue a little bit as we give out these next awards. You know, so far we've uh, given out awards for outstanding academic achievement, for service uh, to the college and the community, for leadership, you know, to the community, within the community. The next few awards are the highest awards the college gives out, and it does add an element of outstanding leadership also. The, the, and some of these folks that you've already seen and that you're going to see now, they're the movers and the shakers. They're the future leaders. Keep your eyes on these folks. The Silver Shield Award is given to students who have made significant contributions to BCC and are recognized for rendering outstanding service of consistent high quality to the college. Recipients, as you receive your award, please stay on stage and take a group picture at the end. This year's recipients are Nicholas Belmore. <laughs> Jeffrey Bundy. <laughs> Jaziel Chase. Robert S. Chase.
Linnell R. Dean. Karen Gainham. <clears throat> Tara L. Giblin. <clears throat> Ryan T. Kirby. Holly Madonna. <laughs> Jessica Mello. <laughs> Saki Yankoi. Monique Onoha. <clears throat> Evie Robinson. <clears throat> Dylan Shea. <clears throat> Paulina Vicente. And Jeffrey Wilkinson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to all of the Silver Shield Award recipients. And now the Scepter and Scroll Award, the most prestigious of the college's awards. Membership in the Scepter and Scroll Society is given to students who have provided consistent and outstanding contributions of both leadership and service to Bristol Community College. The recipients are installed in perpetuity in the Scepter and Scroll Society. And again, recipients, as you receive your award, please stay on stage for a photograph. The first recipient, wearing out a path, Amy M. Blanchett. <laughs> Christopher M. Briault. <laughs> and Fatima Javed. <laughs> Congratulations to this year's inductees. And now for our final presentation, it is my pleasure to bring back up to the microphone our president, John Sprager, to announce the Mason Shield Award recipient. The Mason Shield Award, known as the President's Award, is presented each year to a graduate who has rendered the highest quality service to the college and who has demonstrated outstanding leadership. The name of each recipient is inscribed on a plaque which is located permanently at the college. This year, the recipient is Christopher Rhea.
Thank you, President Sprague. My sincere thanks to all of the presenters this evening. Congratulations to all of the award recipients. Please give yourself another round of applause. This concludes the awards presentations. Please join us in the Commonwealth College Center for a reception in your honor prepared by Chef Carismo and the students in the Culinary Arts Program. Thank you all for coming and showing your support. Have a wonderful evening. Nice job. Good girl. Oh my God, I had to pay hey, him to the prize. I was things mixed up, oh my God. What was? There was a few, do you see me go down for Kirby's? He was mixed in with the first one's Kirby and that girl, Michaela, but I remember that I drew them in there. And I don't know what happened to Bill Barati. I've got to check. Yeah. Steve yeah. said it sounded like last year's. So that's why I got up and did and something. Suzanne, I, I did took say, a little It did time. say something up top, but I, I just walked over to her and did that. Suzanne, Suzanne didn't have the names, Catherine. What? Yeah. Suzanne didn't have the names.